I'm Nikki and I am here to introduce you to some of the instruments we've been building and procuring for the production of Beowulf. Um, when we have been thinking about the music, we've been um, thinking that we'd like it to be as organic and ancient sounding as possible. And this instrument that I'm holding in my hands actually has been a really important part of that. Um, there was an archaeological finding in the 1930s um, where in England was uncovered an entire Viking ship. Um, someone had been buried with all of his most treasured possessions and among them was a lyre much like this one. Several imitations have been made. We built this one out of red oak and we've made some modern accommodations. Um, these pins are metal as opposed to wood as the originals would have been. We're also using nylon strings. Um, we've been told that gut can be very hard to keep in tune on stage, so we're sticking with nylon for now. Um, the instrument uh, may have been plucked, or may have been strummed, or a little bit of both. Um, it's, it's plucked, it's strummed using a block and strum technique, so I'm blocking the strings that I don't want to sound, which results in a, a little more percussive sound than a modern instrument. some plucking was used. See, we're very excited about this and we keep finding new uses for it, talking to people all over the world, and um, new tunings, new uses, new ways that it is. Um, we've also procured a harp, which you've probably heard before, it sounds like this. One of the things we're excited about is a double flute. Um, we've heard that uh, maybe half of the flutes of the era were actually double flutes. It's um, This one is made up of two um, tin whistle-like flutes, and the advantage to that is a single player can sound like two players. So you can use one flute as, as a drone, and the other one as a melody. you can play harmony on both sides. So a really handy instrument that also, like the lyre, would have been very portable. One could take it on the ship, pass it around from person to person at the mead hall, and um, be a very social instrument. Um, we also have a drum. Percussion should be and is the um, the backbone of, of this produ production's music. Um, as, as every ancient culture, um, Vikings had drums and big drums that made big sounds. All of these, we hope, will accommodate a, a really beautiful and, and ancient sounding soundscape for this production and we're really excited about it.